Hey, it's around here. In this system IO tech tutorial on setting up an affiliate program, I'm going to show you something unique. And that is how to basically create an affiliate link, not using system. What I mean by that is let's just assume that you are running a virtual summit or you're setting up an online course and you simply accept payment in system. The order form is in system, but your sales page is on another platform. For example, you might be creating a really pretty sales page on a software called show it or WordPress. Or in my case, I have a page on Kajabi that I want to turn into an affiliate link. So how do you make those pages on a different platform completely and turn that into an affiliate link using system IO affiliate tracking. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It is important to understand that this only works if you're actually accepting payments through system. That's how the tracking is actually done. So you can have your sales page elsewhere, the registration page elsewhere, but the actual payment collection needs to take place in system. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you an example of me setting it up for a client and walking you through how it was done, basically once it was done. And I'm also going to show you me setting it up myself for my own affiliate program as well using Kajabi, which is I've got a homepage in Kajabi basically, and I'll show you how I turn that one page in Kajabi into an affiliate link. So when people buy on system, the affiliate tracking still takes place. So let me share my screen, show you how it's done. So this is my homepage on Kajabi and I just have a simple webinar, at least at the time of recording. And I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to go back to system. I'm going to hover over settings on the top right and then click on affiliate program. Then I'm going to go to affiliate proxy links. I'm going to click on create. I'm going to label this. So I'm going to call this BCT website on Kajabi on page. I'm going to put the URL. Now the URL is basically the destination that I want people to get to. Then I'm going to pick the domain and the domain has to be the same domain where the order form is going to be. In this case, I'm going to choose members.com this one right here. And I'll show you why that's important. So when somebody is on here, after a few minutes, I'm going to display a button here to basically check out my membership. The membership is hosted on this page, members.com forward slash DCT plus. Okay. And that's the website that they will be taken to. Now, what's important is that they're going to end up going from this URL over to this URL. But as soon as they land here, the affiliate tracking already takes place because I'm going to give my affiliates, I'm not going to give them this URL directly. I'm going to give them a proxy link, which I'll show you how to do as well. So now I'm going to click on save and now I've got this proxy link. Now I'm going to copy this. And then if I'm going to send an email to my affiliates, I'm basically going to include this link with their affiliate ID. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to go to newsletters. I'm going to click on create. I'm going to click here to your affiliate link for DCT plus. Let's just say click on classic editor, click on save, click here. And then I'm going to paste this URL right here. Then I'm going to do forward slash question mark S a equals click on this substitute and click contact affiliate ID. Now, even though this link is a Kajabi link, this is going to become an affiliate link, even though the original destination URL is going to be Kajabi. So that's how I've got it set up. And when I send this to people, to my email subscribers, they're automatically going to have their affiliate ID attached to this link, which will turn it into an affiliate link. Now I'm going to show you a real case study of me actually setting it up for a client and you'll see us testing it and all that stuff. And basically the result at the end where the affiliate commission actually tracked and all that stuff, I had to test it out to make sure it's all working and they hosted a virtual summit, which is what that was for. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to that, show you a little bit behind the scene. And then at the end, I'm going to give you something that you'll be able to use to be able to set up this entire thing yourself as well. So here you can see that I'm signed up with an account, which is funnel education at gmail.com. And I did a test purchase for a summit session and I paid $67 for the summit and the commission is 50%. So you could see this is the commission and this was done today. Now, the way this works 
is that this is the dashboard of the affiliate. In order for the affiliate to see the commissions, they click on affiliate dashboard. And this is how you can see that the affiliate sale was successful. You see that I did an affiliate test and this affiliate test was basically sent into one tag or a tag, which is only the affiliate account test account that I was using, which is funnel education at gmail.com. And what I did is we sent out the proxy link with the affiliate ID attached to the proxy link. Then we added the forward slash question mark SA equal, and then using substitute variable added the affiliate ID. And to be sure, I also added the affiliate ID manually here to make sure what I receive is exactly correct. So what is a proxy link? You'll notice that the summit that we are trying to get set up with an affiliate program is this URL, the light in parents, our uh, parenting summit.com. And this is on WordPress with a mail light embed form. So what we do is we grab this URL because that's the page which affiliates are going to send people to. And we click on create. We're going to label it affiliate link summit or whatever you want to label that. You put the URL. Now here's what's really important. This is basically the destination URL, i.e. where you want people to arrive to after they get, they click the affiliate link. This is extremely important. Then you would click the domain and you would choose the domain where the order form or opt-in page is. So wherever it is the sale is happening from system checkout, you want to choose this particular domain name. So put the destination URL here and choose the correct domain name of your funnel. Then you would click on save. Once you've done that, you will end up with a link that looks like this. And then when you look at what was sent in the email, you will see that is exactly what that link looks like. So this is it, plus these details right here. The last thing you want to make sure is that the actual funnel where your sales page is, where they're gonna end up at, and checking out from is identical to the domain name you chose earlier on the proxy link setup. Now you can change the domain name here. So make sure you're choosing the right one. That way, what you set up as the proxy link, as well as the funnel link is, or the funnel URL, the domain name is matching. That way the tracking can be done, even if you're sending the link somewhere outside of system IO. Also, you should know that if you're doing a test purchase or if somebody actually ends up refunding, you will actually see it reflecting when you see this button. And this is inside the affiliate account, not the owner account. This is the affiliate account that they could see that there was a refund. So then nothing is actually tracking, which means there won't be an affiliate invoices generated at the end of the month. So that's about it. Hope you got value from this particular video. I know it's a lot to take in. You might have to rewatch this and stuff like that. Now you might be watching this video because you're interested in setting up an affiliate program using system. And I have two solutions for you. One of them is free. One of them is paid. The free solution, if you want to set up an affiliate program is somewhere around here, you will see a playlist and a download where you can actually see all my videos on how to set up an affiliate program. And I've got five videos. And if you just watch them, see the different chapters and follow the instructions, you will be able to set it up. Now, the thing is about those videos is they're not exactly step by step. They're just different pieces of the puzzle. And I did try to give a, a sort of a sequence on how to follow as well, but there is additional templates that I have used in setting up an affiliate program and things along these lines, which is going to save you even more time. And that is available as a paid digital product. So you've got two options, go to my tutorials and um, the instructions are there. I'm not withholding anything from you. It's all there in those tutorials for free and you can follow the instructions and set it up. But if you want some extra help with setting it up, a little bit of extra resources, a little bit more step-by-step -step checklist on getting it done, there is a paid product and you can uh, download that as as well and that's available for you to purchase if you go to iran.link forward slash affiliate program setup and it will take you to the sales page i'll explain a little bit you'll see everything you're getting and you can decide if you want to pay this small fee to get that 
extra step-by-step -step checklist and instructions and templates, or figure it out on your own using my tutorials, which are also, again, they're very helpful. So everything is going to be possible for you to do no matter which path you choose. Of course, I would love to, um, you know, have somebody become a paying customer. So if you want to get a bit of a shortcut, then grab my paid product. I assure you it is extremely affordable and you'll see the details on the page if you go to a run.link forward slash affiliate program setup. That's about it. Thanks all for watching. Really appreciate you. Somewhere around here, you'll see those additional tutorials on how to set up an affiliate programming system. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section. That's about it. I'll speak to you soon.